Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can create, read, update, and delete data using Perfect, a popular open source server-side Swift framework. It's actually remarkably easy thanks to Storm, Perfect's built-in object relational mapping library. As long as you make your objects derive from one of Storm's built-in classes, it's really easy to use built-in calls to do all of your database operations without writing a single line of SQL code. Let's give this a try. I have a simple perfect project here. I've configured it to use a PostgreSQL database, and I've created an object that conforms to the Postgres Storm protocol. You can see that it's pretty simple. It has a method to convert from the database row, a method to convert a set of results into an array of model objects, and a helper method to return the object as a dictionary to ease in JSON conversion or to let it easily be passed as a mustache template value. Let's start by seeing how to create a new object in the database. I'll create a new route to handle a post request called new. I'll assume that the post body contains some JSON data. I'll decode the data and look for two parameters, the short and the long form of an acronym to create. Thanks to Storm, saving the acronym is very simple. I just create an acronym model object and then call save. Upon success, this calls a closure with the ID of the new object in the database. I'll set the ID back on the acronym object. Afterwards, I'll return the new acronym as JSON, and if there's an error, I'll print that out as well. Now I'll build and run, load up rested, and set up the post to create a new object. Looks good. I can verify that it has saved this object to the database with PSQL. All right, so that's create. What about read? Let's start by making a route that will return all acronyms in the database. I'll create a new route to handle a GET request called all. To get all the acronyms in a database, all I need to do is create a temporary acronym object and then call find all. Finally, I need to convert the result to an array of string to any dictionary so I can return it as JSON. If I try that out with rested, it works. At this point, you know how to create and read all objects, but often you want to read just a subset of the objects and that's really easy thanks to Perfect's built-in query capability. Let's take a look at this. Let's create a new route called first to return the first acronym in the database. One way to run a query on your database table with storm is to use the select method. This gives you full control. You can specify the where clause to limit the results. You can specify parameters to substitute in the where clause. You can specify the ordering, and you can also specify a database cursor to use. The cursor allows you to limit the number of rows that are returned and to specify an offset for where to begin in the query results, and that's useful for pagination. Here we'll set up a cursor to only return one row no matter what. This is good for performance just in case this table contains hundreds of rows. Then we'll check to see if there's a result, and if so, return it. Otherwise, we'll return an empty array. Let's create another route to return any acronyms with the short field set to AFK. This time, we'll use an alternate method to query your database table using Storm. We create a string to any dictionary and we specify any field we want to match on our object. In this case, we want any acronyms where the short field is AFK. We then call find, passing in our dictionary, and return the results as usual. This method is a little bit easier for simple queries like this. Let's try the other way around and create a route to return anything but AFKs. This time we have to go back to using the select clause since we want a not equal comparison. This time we use the where clause setting short not equal to dollar sign one, where dollar sign one is a placeholder for the first parameter. This protects you against SQL injection attacks. In the params, we specify AFK for the parameter and order by ID. Then we return the results as usual. Let's try all these out. I'll call first to get the first entry. Then I'll find the AFK entries. And finally, the non-AFK entries. That's a lot of reading. At this point, we've covered create and read. Now let's look at the last two, update and delete. Let's create a new route that will let us update the first acronym in the database. We'll look for a post to slash update. We'll copy our new method to use it as a starting point since we'll be looking for the same JSON parameters. Then we'll get the first acronym, same as we did before. If there is no acronym, we'll throw an error. Now here's where the update magic happens. Since the ID has already been set when we pulled the first acronym, all we have to do is update the short and the long on the acronym and call save, and that's it. If I build and run, I can check what the first entry is, and then call update to give it a new definition. 
Now it's time for the final operation, delete. Let's create a route that deletes the first acronym in the database. To do this, I'll look up the first row as usual, but then I'll call delete on the acronym. Afterwards, I'll return all acronyms. Now let's try this out. I can use this to see all entries and use delete first to delete the first entry. At this point, you should understand how to create, read, update, and delete objects from a database using Storm and Perfect. You may be wondering if there's a better way to organize our code here. There's a lot of crud in our main file, pun intended. Well, good news, that's the subject of a next screencast. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Thank you.